hi guys it's me shiva so today i'm going to share you something very much interesting which you won't be much knowing about this okay then this, this is about emojis okay which we are using in all the social media twitter or facebook or microsoft or wherever we go we use this emojis so before that i'm going to ask you some questions you guys have any idea where and when this emoji got found you know when this worldwide need they people started using it you guys know how many emojis are totally available still now in 2020 and more than this what is the emoji which, which is much was used among our all yeah if you don't know that let's get into me i'm going to reveal everything it's going to be very much interesting let's go inside june 17th every year this announced as the world emoji day okay so this where i came across this the search about this and this is very going to be interesting for you as well the man called siketata kurita he is known as father of emojis he is a japanese was found this emojis okay in 1999 for this you know docomo you, you will be knowing about docomo the entity docomo the same the mobile network which is known as the one of the very biggest uh, mobile work network company in japan he was working for the company then he might pair or the company might have already guessed that in future the world is going to rule by this mobile and the network system and through this emojis are going to be very much captured in this whole thing so he might have thought about it so he started implementing these things okay this is a history of the emoji where we are now we are starting about it yeah so it is a symbolic representation of our emotions or an idea or a concept and these emojis are independent they are not based on any language any caste okay they are like independent what is the meaning of emoji where this emoji word found okay actually emoji word is from japanese language okay they became divided into two uh, phrases like a uh, e and moji e actually mean pictures okay moji mean the character so one picture is characterizing one character that is emoji that's the meaning of the emoji now we will order though this is what emoji means yeah <laughs> yeah really this emojis came worldwide usage 2010 okay after 2010 2012 they started worldwide using actually this iphone uh this apple company they were launched uh this in worldwide range okay one more interesting factor about this emoji in 2015 the oxford dictionary uh named this face with the tears of joy okay emoji that is announced as the word of the year so this is kind of a crown for this emoji concept developers okay uh, also it's known as in 2013 the oxford D dictionary they put emoji as a word in dictionaries so there's one short video short film or short video making called emoji among us actually if you did not watch it please do search and watch that video actually those all the ideas and the concept they were taken from our self itself our lifestyle itself so, so one of the very much interesting factors is if you take like 100% people are using this for social media so internet in that 95% of the people they are using this all the emojis worldwide okay and also there's a data says that per day minimum around so you guys know how much total emojis are there till march 2020 there are um 3300 for emojis are there right and till now i mean uh, especially if i want to talk more on this in 2020 there are 170 new emojis were added in this emoji communications this company called unicorn consortium uh, they are actually a non profit organization they are the people who develop and they those who published the publishing this all the emojis ideas actually preparing a emoji is not just a second of word okay that's actually more than a year nearly two years of work schedule you'll be going through to creating an em uh, emoji and making them publish okay i will tell the way how they doing as that as well okay so this unicorn consortium actually they situated in america so they will be every year so much of thousands of proposal people will be sending them so that company will go through so many work process and they will go through them and they'll find out what is actually going to get as a uh, output 2008 for ios 2.2 operating system for the mobile phones and they were actually looking for this emoji type so this company ordered to the designers and they appointed three designers to design this emojis that's how this emoji implementation was uh, get started okay and the company was giving them the apple company was giving the designers around duration of 3 months within 3 months they had to complete this task and they had to give that emojis to the apple company right period around thousands of emojis were added and many of the emojis were get 
getting changing like they were been through the changing process as well but now anyone can propose this emojis and unicode consortium has to list out and they will find out which is emojis going to list out for the year the 13 factors they had to consider while deciding or publishing the emoji as accepted one of that year okay let's get into how this uh, emojis progress like how they're progressing with the emojis um, accepting stage okay you also wanted to design or propose any emojis first you have to make a 10 pages of documentary what is this emoji and why this used for how much frequency people are using on it how the people is going to use this emoji so you have to make a list out and design brief everything you have made out and email to them um, the unicode consortium that's the first stage everyone has to do if you want to propose it okay and after that what is going to happen right uh, we can divide by in a year we can divide by four parts okay january to march and april to june and july to september then you know like the october to december like that we can divide the four uh, phases of four parts right so the emojis has to be get approved by the different communities different work schedules among the unicode consortium itself okay january to march period that subcommittee will be deciding okay they will like doing the filtering okay this can be go to the next stage this can be go to the next stage like that okay after in this field so many emojis documentations or proposals can be rejected also okay depends on them so after they go to the second stage the second stage stream time period around like april to june they also have a three months of time what they will be doing in the deck in the, in the unicode technical committee they will be dealing on this process so they are really financing the unicode uh, consortium the proposals according based on some more higher filtrations and after they'll approve it in, they'll consider as a standard proposal then they'll send it to the next stage the third level that in this stage all the draft will be considered okay i mean the candidates will be list out and that third stage party they will be sending this all the proposals to the, all the internet vendors like uh, google or twitter or facebook and microsoft everyone will just started sending sending this all the proposals to check by them itself playing all the designs based on on their interest okay so after this stage over in october to december period the unicode cldr okay they are kind of more standard one in the company so they will be naming the emojis okay uh, which are coming from the older vendors right they will approve some, some of the main emojis if they allowed it okay and after that they will be naming all the emojis in one language the language won't be in english then after the first year again the second year start quarter time in generally march of the second year of the stage after this the uh, final candidate list will be sending to those uh, vendors like microsoft and twitter facebook like that so they will start designing on their own so, and also they have their own styles to follow right if you check that uh, snapchat will be different and messenger will be different and whatsapp will be different the emoji will, will be different you could have observed that okay it won't be same this will continue for three months and after april to june that time all the emojis will get set the design will get okay july to september they will update in their websites this is the emojis workflow so you can think like more than around around 18 months they're taking for getting approved this emoji by the unicode consortium after the leave we are getting there we will have the updates right whatsapp update facebook update and along with this also will get update what is the emoji which is worldwide use in uh, such amount okay you guys will you should be knowing that really you can see from here itself so you will be knowing the laughing the joyful with the tears face that is the one emoji which is much worldwide used to so what's the why this is for this today and i will hopefully i will be meeting with one more video and if you found this is very interesting please keep sharing with your friends and subscribe to my channel so when i'm getting free i'm definitely going to put some video which is very much it's going to be interest and which is not much touched part okay thank you